Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashem El Bashai, Bahasham Makakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird among the heathens, that look like the heathens. And to the Akwath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. And um, we're going to talk about the IMF, all right, that group of unelected officials that make uh, decisions uh, over and for governments. But no one elected any of these people in any country. That, uh, that I'm aware of. I don't I don't remember any election of anyone, you know, electing IMF members to be over them. But, uh, <clears throat> and I think it's no coincidence that the Impossible Mission Force, like the movie Mission Impossible, that IMF is named for that namesake because uh, this particular, uh, you know, Ethan Hawke and his crew all right. They answer. It seems like they answer really to no governments. They're above all governments. All right. You know, it's, it's, and so it, in my eyes, this. Uh, this um, IMF is representation of, of, of the, the deep state and their operatives. All right. They're above all above all alphabet uh, agencies. And uh, I will highly suggest that you see the latest. Uh, Mission Impossible movie. I went to go see it. Um, and I knew that there would be something revealed in it, and boy, was it a doozy. All right? So uh, let me go. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, and it reads, Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So they show you a lot of devices and a lot of things and what they plan to do. And everyone in the theater was there for entertainment purposes. And there was a couple loud mouth, uh, you know, so-called black women talking to the screen like it's going to talk back, you know. Uh, uh, I hate going to the to the, to the the theater with Negroes. I swear I do. But, um, and then the ones in front of me, the couple in front of me, can stay on their phone, you know. It was, oh, man. And normally when I go to, to you check out a movie that time of day, there's nobody there or, or maybe a few Edomites. And these were older Jake. So, when, you, you know, one like they we've been young. But anyway, um, there was a lot of things revealed in, in this movie. And I'm just going to talk about it without talking about it because I don't want to spoil it for if you're going to see it. So this isn't a spoiler alert. And, and what I'm using on the backdrop is just it's a very uh, dystopic image. And um, that's kind of where this video is going to go to a very true and dystopic reality. Um, we know what's going to happen. We just don't know how it's going to happen, how it's going to play out. All right. But uh, AI is a threat that and this digital and this, uh, this whole digital system. And that plays a role uh, in this movie. All right. The dangers of AI and one of the dangers of AI. Well, in the military. All right. It, it could start uh, wars between militaries. It can it can launch uh, attacks and make one side think that the other side did it. And it starts a, a war. All right. Uh, the collapses of infrastructures banking systems, all right, so that they can go uh, digital. So, you know, and, 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 and Esau is just exposed with this whole thing. And that's how his witchcrafts work. That's, that's why he has to put it in these movies and cartoons and different things of that nature. This is Jeremiah uh, 49. I'm going to start at verse 10. And it reads, But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself his seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy father's children, I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith Yahweh, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink the cup have surely drunk it. And man, do we drink that cup of oppression, slavery, and, and mistreatment, and every murder, everything else has happened to us. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? All right. Thou should not go unpunished, but thou shall surely drink of it. As you can see, this was, you know, this image is just from 
the Vietnam era and the and, and the murder, uh, rape, robbery, and, and drugs and, and, and resources that were stolen and taken from this. All right. And it reads, For I have sworn by myself, saith Yahweh, that Basra, and Basra is any place, any great city where Edomites are. That's that will rep be representation of Basra today. All right. Not the actual Basra. It says, shall become a desolation, a reproach, and a waste, and a curse. And all the cities thereof shall be a perpetual waste. And I have heard a rumor from Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together, and come against her, and rise up unto the battle. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen, and despised among men. And Esau Edom is greatly despised, and small on their numbers are small. That's why they lie, you know, you know, and, 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 you know, create all these fake nationalities and, 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 you know, and claim people that are clearly brown to, to be white. You know, they claim different people from the Middle East, from, which is a made up title. There's no such thing. The Middle East is in Asia. It's a part of Asia, always have been. So they take people that's from, from Asia and, you know, and Arabs and, and, and different Africans. And, and, and basically they come to America and they write down that they're white. That's the only way that there's, there's no, uh, you know, no place for them to write who they are. All right. But uh, let's go to the next scripture. Because with this, with this fall of the banking system and the collapse and everything that's going to happen with this desolate waste, um, they're going to uh, come with the remedy and the remedy is there are, is already in motion. All right. They've had the, 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 the devices since 2015 and during the two years of the, you know, of the uh, pandemic, all the systems were put up, were put in place. All right. All the towers and the poles. OK, so this is a Revelation 13. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 16. And it reads, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive uh, M-A-R-K or Karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that hath the M-A-R-K or the Karagma or the name of the beast or the name of his or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the B-E-S-T for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6. All right. So, you know, the, the WEF made the announcement, all right, which is connected to the IMF, all right, that uh, life will, to have normal life, you will have to have uh, this thing implanted in you to operate with the CBDCs, all right, the digital bank, uh, the, the uh, central bank digital currency, the CBDCs, all right. So let's keep it moving. Um, so and then I heard this story, which I searched and searched for because I was actually going to play it. I couldn't remember if it was on TikTok, Instagram or YouTube. I tried to find it. Um, I thought I saved it, but clearly I didn't. And it was a very dystopian story about, um, you know, about starvation and gun confiscation, which led into a civil war. All right. And as a result of this. Uh, you know, this gun confiscation, that was the last straw for the people. Uh, a, a militia formed out of Texas. Texas, Texas seceded from the country. And this was a guy telling the story, all right? But the story was all based upon uh, reality, real events, and things that could possibly happen. And the thing is, is that these sort of things are going to kind of happen. They, they, won't have, they won't happen exactly like I'm about to tell you, but this is pretty close. But it says... Uh, and Texas seceded from the, from the, uh, uh, from the, you know, from the, uh, um, from the states, from the country, from the union, and all the all the southern states followed them, plus almost half of the northern states. And so the northern army, this, the, which you know, I forget what it was called in his story, which had did all the door to door gun confiscation of the citizens. Uh, they came against this militia and this brutal war broke out, which caused, you know, a lot of death and a lot of, uh, uh, you know, and a lot of starvation. All right. 
Now here's the crazy thing. In the midst of this war, when 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 you know when Babylon was all in shambles, America was invaded from California from the west by China and from the east coast by Russia. And and then it returned to the forces trying to fight against them. And the Chinese and the Russians end up getting dominion. Uh, so let's go to the scriptures. Because these sort of things, like I said, I can't tell you exactly how it's going to happen. But that was that's pretty close, dead on. Things like that are going to happen. Except America's not going to fall just from China and Russia coming in, you know, on foot. Although the America is going to be penetrated, she's going to no longer be a virgin. There are going to be boots on the ground, foreign boots on the ground. But when America goes down, goes down, it's going to be by fire, just like the scripture says. All right. But this is Second Ezra uh, 16. And I'm starting verse one. And it reads, woe be unto Babylon and Asia and woe be unto thee, O Egypt and Syria. All right. Both literally <laughs> And uh, America is, is basically Babylon. America is basically Egypt. It's also Rome. Okay, but there is going to be war in actual Egypt and Syria as well. All right. And in modern day Babylon, this is going to be a world's war because those places are over there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. All right. And it says, and knowing that and this is how you know there's no such thing as the Middle East because it's in Asia. All right. And, you know, uh, um, Jerusalem, um, Iran, no, not Jeru uh, uh, Jerusalem, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Omen, all those places, that's all uh, uh, West Asia. Iran, that's all West Asia. Yes, yeah, Syria, Iraq. That's all West Asia. So, and that's a part of the Valley of Jehoshaphat. So this, this scripture is also a, a good scripture to use to prove that there's no such thing as, as the Middle East. That's something that they made up. Then they try to connect it to a, a race of people, like there was a particular race of people. All right. That, you know, uh, but anyway, um, it says, gird yourselves and cloth and cloths of sack and hair. Be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it have begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot from a strong archer? So when that fire comes, it's going to come by way of arrows, and those arrows that fly from one end of the earth to the other, all right? ICBMs. Okay, let's jump down to verse 22. You could actually read that whole chapter, but it's uh, 2 Ezra 16, 22. For many of them shall dwell upon earth, that, that dwell upon earth shall perish from famine. Because you remember when, these, the, when this civil war break out, uh, a lot of the food and resources, just like in his story, will confiscate people's food and houses will work rated again. This time, they weren't taking guns. They were taking your food and water to make sure that the military was fed first. All right? So it's going to get really, really bad out here. All right? And it says, um, For many of them that dwell on earth shall perish in famine, and the other that escape hunger shall the sword destroy. Verse 23. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast out. So people are going to be taking their, their dead family members and friends and casting them in the alleys and trying to, you know, take them to down the street to the forest preserve or whatever. Right. But the stench in the air is going to be, oh, boy. And it says. And then, and then disease is going to be rampant, too. There's going to be no garbage pickup. All right. It says. Uh. There should be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. And the, and the trees shall give fruit and no one shall gather them. So, you know, there's going to be fruit growing on trees, but it's going to be no one near them or anyone to gather them. If you don't happen to just be right there to get a little bit of it, you 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 just going to go hungry. Grapes shall, shall ripen and who shall tread them? 
for places shall be desolate of men, so that a man shall desire to see another and hear it and to hear his voice. So you're, not, you're gonna have no communications. You're not gonna be able to go city to city because of the, you know, because of uh, martial law and, and the wars and the fighting. It's fact that you're gonna have groups of marauders that, that are gonna be doing guerrilla hits on, on, the, on the troops and, and, and against people. It's, it's gonna be a free fall. It's gonna be everybody against everybody, all right? It's gonna be beyond racial because it's gonna be racial, it's gonna be class. It's gonna just be nuts. But this is 2 Ezra 15, and I'm going to start at verse 12, and it reads, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. And they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fall through the blasting of hell with a fearful consolation. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. That consolation are these crazy storms, destroying crops and stuff. All right? But it says, Woe unto them. War unto the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. And just like in this Vietnam conflict, except this, it, it's, it's going to be, and that was one of the worst physical battles and, and weirdest, you know, things that American soldiers ever had to go through. Uh, it was way more violent than, than World War II, and World War II was pretty bad. All right? This one was way more violent as far as you know, man, to, you know, face to face combat. It was it was sick, you know, and it says. Um, For there shall be sedition. Yes, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So like I said, marauding groups of men, uh, you know, jacking, kicking in doors to take food supplies and women. There's going to be a lot of rapes, all right? Uh, women are going to be traded like cigarettes, like like baseball cards, all right? A lot of, you think human trafficking is bad now, it's going to be way worse, all right? And it says, um, yeah, you're going to find all these single women, they're going to be the first targets and the first ones to get uh, snatched up and be and become uh, comfort girls like you, you know, like in uh like the uh, you look about the for, you look up any story on on the YouTube or the internet about the Japanese comfort girls in World War Two, all right? It's gonna be way worse than that. But it says a, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Just so, just like that scripture said, a man in in, in Second Ezra sixteen chapter, a man shall desire to hear the voice to talk to to another man, just to hear a voice of another person, all right, or a particular person. You're not gonna be able to do it. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, and a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their, uh, spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So that's exactly what's going to happen. And then the elect are going to uh, be, let me go back to 16, jump up to 73. And it reads, I'm going to start at uh, first, uh, actually, I'm going to start at 70. And it says, For there shall be in every place and in every next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So they, they, anyone who believes on Yahweh, Bashan, Abishai, or in the Bible, period, is going to be a target, but especially the Israelites, all right? And if the Lord, if you, you know, and some of us, our lot is to die, all right? But you got to remember the remnant, the one-third elect is going to be brought through that, okay? It says, for they shall uh, waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. And they shall, then it shall be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So you're going to know who the chosen are because they're going to be protected. And, and, and the Lord is going to imbue many of the Israelite men with power and none of their weapons that they bring toward them is going to work against them, right? The Lord is going to actually dish out that power uh, upon his return, all right? Pri prior to him completely annihilating the place, right? Before he uh, has those angels let loose the four winds and bring those... Uh, Bring that, bring that fire. Uh, I was trying to find that scripture. 
think it was in Peter. So second Peter I found it. Second Peter three and uh and seven. But it's, it reads, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and the perdition of ungodly men. So the men who go going to perdition have been exposed and his time is nearly up. Let me go to uh, one more one more uh, set of scriptures. Let's go to First Thessalonians. We'll close this out. Um, chapter four and verse uh, 13 through uh, 18 and it reads but I will have I would not have you to be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope so a lot of people have no clue what's going on or or, or hear what's going on and still ignore it and it, it's in one ear and out the other right over their heads for if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again even so them also would sleep in Yahweh Shai Will, will, will God bring with him for, th for this we say unto you the word of the Lord that which we are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord should not prevent them which are asleep for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven and with a shout and the voice of the archangel and the trump of God and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first then which then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, so shall we be ever be with the Lord. All right. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, because why the chariot swing low, sweet chariot, and let me ride. That was a reason why the slaves sang about that, because they knew they understood about the chariots, or they were aware of it. All right. Things were flying around, you know, during the dark ages and medieval time, and during the times of slavery, and. and um, you know, way before planes were invented. And those were the chariots of Israel. And, you know, the Israelites always knew that there would come a day when those would come and get them. Swing low, sweet chariot. All right. Hey, so with that, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, Wa'ababa, Ba'al, Kwam, Yasserala, Shalom.